Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have created an API to get all the to-do data of a user and the same thing has been displayed in our Fogata project by hitting the API. Okay, so as you can see, okay, so these are the data being stored by this user. Okay, so in this tutorial, uh, we will add a feature through which a user will be able to delete any item from his to-do list. Okay, so you just need to swap this item and just click on this delete button. Okay, so let's get started and implement the same. Okay, so to delete any item from this list of items, we need to create an API in our Node.js project. So here is my Node.js project. So let's create an API to delete any item. So I will just copy this route and let's name the API as delete to do. Okay, so this is the API name. Okay, and in controllers file over here, let's create a function that is export function. Okay, so I'll just copy paste and just change the name of this function. Delete to do. Okay, so here I need to make some changes. So before that, let me open my MongoDB compose and let me show you the data. Okay, okay, so over here to do okay so from the front end i am going to pass this id okay and if the user pass this id i want to delete all this item from this to do collection okay so here i need to pass any an id from the front end okay so if we see so when the user press on this item list so we are going to pass this item id this id okay and we are going to delete that item from our database okay so we are going to accept one id from the front end and in services folder here let's create one more function a static function that will delete an item from the list so delete to do okay so here i am accepting one parameter to this function that is id okay and now by making use of to do model to do model dot find one and delete okay so this is the mongoose uh, mongoose uh, query find one and delete and here we are going to pass our id underscore id id okay deleted item we are going to return it callback okay okay so the same function let's use in our controller so here we are going to pass id deleted item will be returned back to our front end okay okay so this function will get called from our uh, api route Okay, controller delete route okay so controller so let me check id we are going to accept and id we are going to pass it to our service folder so inside service folder we are going to find one and delete the data from the database okay so let me save this okay so now let's implement the same thing in our front end in our further project okay, so we just copy this API and in configuration let initialize our variable okay and now in dashboard page let's create a function delete item and here I will just pass the selected ID okay and now let's call this function when the user press on this delete button by swapping the list view okay so it happens over here okay slideable so delete okay okay so let me show you underscore id Or refresh okay. 
okay so you can see the item id has been passed when the button is been pressed okay so from here let's call the function that we have created above so delete item okay one second yeah so we're here delete item and let's pass this selected item okay now let's go to that function and let's check if we are getting receiving that id or not by printing it hot refresh okay so let's check it is get printing two times because here also i have printed it okay so now we need to make a internet call or api hit okay so for that i will just copy the existing code from my previous functions okay so i will just copy paste it over here okay so you can see in the back end we are accepting id as a parameter from the front end okay so in request body we will pass the id 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 and by making use of http post request we are going to hit our api okay so we need to make this function as a sync okay and here let's call the url okay so item will get deleted okay so after item gets deleted we need to call get to do list again by passing the user id Okay, so over here if response of status is equal to so if it is equal to true then we are going to hit our database to get the latest data okay so let's check if this is working okay so let me swap and let's check if item gets deleted okay so i think item is getting deleted so let's check this if this is getting deleted from the database or no okay so item got deleted so let's go to our database and check okay so to do so there are 10 so you can see now it became 7 okay so let me delete one more item so this is new data this is to do latest data okay so it is over here okay so we just swap the item got deleted let me refresh so you can see the item is getting deleted from our database also okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you